Well, good evening, everybody. Eyes be back. I'm about to do these mustard fried ribs up right quick. And I'm about to do peach margarita. I'm about to show y'all my ingredients. And then we're going to get this thing started. Okay, so the ingredients for my peach margarita, oh, um, I forgot, is triple sack. They ain't have no other kind of orange, so we're going to do a little uh, ghetto hookup. Fresh cut up peaches, my Patron, lime, and then we got my ingredients, my seasonings for my mustard fried ribs, onion powder, adobo, garlic salt, yellow mustard and parsley. And this is what the ribs look like. They already been marinated and sitting in the refrigerator. So, about to get this thing crack cracking. Hey, Flaw Doll. I see you, boo. All right, so I'm gonna set y'all up over here by the stove. I got my grease hot. And then while my ribs is cooking, I'm gonna make my drink. So I'm gonna add my flour. I'm gonna put my flour in this bowl. Like I say, it saves it saves you from wasting a lot of flour if you put as much flour as you're gonna need on in the bowl. You don't have that much waste. Oh, I forgot. I use that song. That song as well. That song as well. Hey, Colette, let. Hey, Fairy. Okay, so my grease is already hot. Trying to make this video not be so super long. Hey, Marquisha. And when you make these ribs, you got to make sure anything you do with the mustard coat, it, make sure your grease is real hot because it will strip your coating off. It will keep your coating from sticking to your meat. So make sure your grease is extra hot. And don't overstuff your pot. Because it will not cook right. Your crust will not be crispy. It will be soft. So I just put three pieces in there. I'm using a small pot because I ain't had that many pieces. I just had enough ribs that was left over from when I had made them baked ribs the other night. So I'm going to let, I'm going to put these in the bowl. And I'm going to cover it. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, okay. Alright, so we're gonna let them cook while them doing their thing. I'm going to make this drink. Okay, I'm gonna have to sit y'all up where y'all can see me. I can hear my fan blowing in the background. 
I ain't trying to melt for y'all. Even though it really ain't that hot. Okay, so I got my four. I got four piece slices just for garnish. But I'm about to puree these. Sugar to them after I get them pureed. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of sugar just for the sweet because you know peaches is about out of season. And they were a little tough. Okay, so now I got my peach puree. That's what it looked like, y'all. Okay. Now. I'm about to add my triple set. I need my honey, honey. I've got honey included, y'all forgot. Got my honey. Let me get my ice. Let's get everything in here. I caught myself trying to beat my ice down so it'll be so hard to blend. I hammered it. And now we're gonna pour in Patron. That's the rest of one bottle. <sighs> and some lime juice. Um, get my glass together. I'm gonna put some sugar on my round. Now we have a peach margarita. Mm-hmm. 
peach margarita is popping. I'm, I got the comments off, so I can't read and do what I'm doing. So, this is my drink for the evening. I'm about to freeze the red, put the rest in the freezer, and then I'll be back to eat y'all and take y'all back to the stove. Okay, back to the stove. I got a line. I'm gonna line something with a um, some paper towel to drain my grease. Aluminum pans come from the pie. Be awesome. Just use them over and over again for every other time. And while they're still cooking, I'm gonna clean up my little area. Not be trying to be done when I be done. Y'all having a good day watching y'all football? I'm waiting on my basketball wife to come out. So now I'm just um, I can let y'all peep it out. I'm gonna let y'all peep these up. They ain't ready yet. Oh, they got they got that crisp on them. I'm about to turn my comments back on so I can see. Now I got accomplished. While I'm just waiting on it to cook, I can read my video on my comments and drink a drink. Hey, Corey. Hey, Nicola. Thank you, Lala. I mean, the description is on the video. I don't understand people sometimes. It just got to make my job difficult. It's enough I'm cooking. But it's to ask a, a question that is it, self-explanatory when you jump on the video and say you are. Okay. Crystal Martin, I don't want to own a restaurant. I would rather do catering or uh, cook food by order so I don't cook food that don't get ate. <laughs> People be funny, people be used to what they used to, and I I already would be putting in a lot of money to get in a restaurant, renting the space, and you making sure my equipment is up to par, and health codes, and all of that stuff. That's a lot of work to do, and then not make it. You know, just to not even make it. Yeah. So, I'd rather cater, because at least I know people ordering their food to be cooked, and I'm going to cook the hell out of it. I'd rather cater, because I know I'm only going to buy what I got to cook, and I ain't got to cook no bunch of stuff that ain't going to get ate. I'm going to lose money on food, rent, lights, all of that, if I get a restaurant and it don't work out. That is so bomb. 
I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm I'm trying to work with everybody. Nathaniel, I hear you. That's what I want to do a food truck too, but I gotta start somewhere. I'm thinking big, but I gotta start small. If I can get some sponsorship, I'm thinking about setting me up a damn GoFundMe to get my camera and my tripod because the person who's supposed to do it is playing games with me and I need it. I don't have the funds for it myself. I'm out of work and it's a lot going on and I just can't afford no damn no camera and no tripod. So until then, I'm going to be ghetto fabulous with these two phones, walking around the kitchen, talking, laughing, dancing, singing, rapping, and doing the most for my folks. Cause y'all know I love what I do. Hey April, hey Colleen. Colleen, make sure you take a picture of them biscuits, baby. get a truck first Nathan. what I'm going to do walk around with a, a hot and ready bag with warm food in it at a factory talk about our southern food <laughs> that's what I think I'm going to do Crystal I think I'm going to do a GoFundMe I mean if, if I had people that believed in my dream that could sponsor me as much as I believe in my dream then I would have been gone somewhere with my cooking but it's just so many people. I got haters all over all the cooking groups for no apparent reason. That's why I'm about to just be YouTube out. I'm going to need people to subscribe to my YouTube because that's going to be the only way y'all going to be able to catch me. Because I got I get so much hate from them people on them, on them, on them cooking groups. I'll be ready to spaz out and just dog their whole life, dog the kids, dog their mama, their daddy. But I'm trying to change. And they won't let me be great. They won't let me be great, so I'm trying to change. I ain't the old me I used to be because I didn't even have two thoughts about it at one time. I was getting kicked out of cooking groups in Facebook jail to death. But I, I, know, I learned that everything don't deserve a reaction. And that's my whole thing, Colleen. People be trying to dog my food. But I ain't never seen you post nothing. You won't hear to criticize and talk about what somebody else got going on. I'm proud of what I do. That's why I make my videos. My personality is popping. My food be banging. And I slap a bitch. No, let's play. <laughs> but I will. That's nothing. I got a potty mouth. But I be trying. I be trying. Okay, nobody determine my destiny, Patrice, but what I'm saying is I would rather stay away from the negativity so it don't make me become negative because I do have a short view. Very, very, I'm very temperamental, and my, sometimes my skin get thinner than it normally would be because don't nobody know what I, what I got going on in my day, what type of feelings I done had all day when they be coming for me. So it might not even be meant for them, but they're going to be the one to catch it. Okay, so these are done. But a hater gonna be a hater, and you gotta let a hater hate. I can't change that. Ain't my fault that they got a fucked up trait. Excuse my French. But we already determined that I cuss. Okay. So I'm going to throw these in and then I'm going to show y'all what they look like. Look at that. I be trying to like that, Daniel.
Don't wash my hands. All right. You're welcome, Miss Gloria. <laughs> Chris, are you silly? All you got to do is pay attention. Recipe is easy to follow. Everybody, you ain't going to get it right the first time. You ain't going to get it right all the time. But they say oh, nothing fail you, but not to try. Hey, Roxanne. I'm making mustard fried ribs and I made a peach margarita. Okay, let me show y'all these ribs. I'm going to break one open for y'all. Girl, the smell is ridiculous. Uh-oh, messing up the church of money. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna break one open for y'all. Woo, it's hot. I'm gonna cut one open for y'all. Sheesh! Oh, I gotta taste it. They smack them. Okay. Well, that's all for today, people. I gave y'all what you came for. When I came to do what I came to do. I'm about to pee out. But I'm about to drink up, smoke out, and chill out until basketball, whatever you need to come on. I will holler at y'all good people later. Peace. Thank you, Carla. Bye, everybody.